Hello everybody, welcome to today's Sermon on the Go. Uh, today's message is from Philippians. Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 to 8. Let's hear the reading of God's word. Do not worry about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplications, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind in the knowledge of Christ Jesus. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear brothers and sisters, in the wake of a second lockdown, in the wake of people being confined to their homes, God is speaking here. He says, don't worry about anything, but in everything with prayer and with supplications and thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. So if there are things on your mind, if you are in any form of trouble, challenges, anxiety, worry. The Bible is saying that bring all those things before God in prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. And when that is done, then the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and mind in the knowledge of Christ Jesus. This peace is an inner sense of calm and assurance given by the Holy Spirit within us. When we commit our troubles and concerns to God in prayer, His peace will protect the door of our hearts and minds. This prevents the worries and distress of life from upsetting our lives and undermining our hope in Christ Jesus. So in this second lockdown, do not be dismayed. Do not worry about anything, but in everything, in prayer and in supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and mind in the knowledge of Christ Jesus. So before I leave you, let me pray for you as we get through this second lockdown. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day that you've made. We thank you that we are still alive in spite of all the pandemic, in spite of the worries of the world, in spite of many people dying. We are still alive. Our families are alive. Our children, our husbands, our wives are alive. And so we thank you for that. We pray that your strength be made perfect in our weakness. We pray that your spirit fall afresh upon us as we get through this second lockdown. And may you be with us in our mind, in our thinking, and in our speaking. May your blessing rest upon us. May your power overshadow our lives. And may your presence never depart from us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, I shall see you on Thursday. Shalom. Peace. <laughs>